today's lesson is all about making your bread and of course we're going to need a dehydrator for this you could make it in the oven if you wish at a very low temperature with the door slightly open but if you're going to get into raw food and making lots of raw breads and crackers and, and such likes then it's probably a good idea to invest in the dehydrator the main secret to making raw bread is that you need some vegetables uh, to make the bulk of the bread you need some ingredients that are going to thicken the bread you need your herbs and spices and everything that you're going to put into the bread you can also add something lumpy uh, before you put it in the dehydrator to give it that extra zinc and you, and you need something to bind all the ingredients together and we'll go through this step by step as i make the bread uh, the binding ingredients that i use are normally whole seeds that are ground up i have this attachment to my vitamix and this is where I put all my raw seeds and nuts and grind them into what we, you would like to call a meal or a powder that you can use for your recipes. Um, you can do it in the main one, but if you have that, that's a bonus. You can also use a coffee grinder. And what I do when I grind things up, I have a jar and I place a label on it, tell me what it is. So this is a grain flax meal, and then I can use it in other recipes, but try not to keep them too long. Um, keep them for a couple of weeks in the fridge and then make fresh. Okay, so the bread we're making today is called leftover bread. So we're going to be using the leftovers from when we made the cultured vegetables. So this is a basic recipe and you can add which vegetables you like, take away which vegetables you don't like, use scraps, or if you are juicing, you can use the pulp as the vegetable part of this. There's so many options you could do. You can make up a recipe to suit your taste and what you like. So let's go through what ingredients you're going to need for this bread and let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we get our chunky part of our bread and we just put that in a bowl ready for the other ingredients. And the chunky part of this bread is some onion. You can use what you like, you even use some seeds if you like, some sunflower seeds or you could have like things like the onion and like in the wrap I'm going to be making you can use some spring onion. Now we need to add the bulk of our ingredients to the blender. Okay, so these are the vegetables that were left over from making the cultured vegetables. Like I said, you can use the, the pulp from your juicing or some vegetables that are getting a bit old and you don't feel like putting them in your dish, you could use them in your bread making. And here I've got the zucchini and the capsicum or the red bell pepper, as they say. And to this we add we had our spice mix, we'll add our salt and our flax oil. And into the blender we'll put the sunflower meal, which is just the ground up sunflowers. Excellent um, source of omegas for women. And then we add the water, so two cups of water. This is going to be quite runny, but that's okay because we've got to add the binders as yet. So we'll just get this blended up. So you can see that's nice and um, watery. But not to panic, the bread will be fine. So we now add this to our onion mix. Give that a bit of a stir. And as you can see, this is quite watery. Okay, so we then add our chia meal. flax meal so we'll just make sure these are blended in well and 
Now this is going to thicken up, so it's a good idea to leave it for about five or ten minutes, and then we'll come back and see how it's going. So this is about after about five minutes. You can see it's getting nice and thick now, and that's because of the flax seed and the chia seed. You can actually soak the seeds and put them in whole if you like, but I tend to like to make them into a meal. So now that this is nice and thick, we're going to need our dehydrator tray and our sheet and we'll add it to this and then we'll score it and then we'll put it in the dehydrator to make our bread. So now we take our dough, our bread, place it on the sheet. Might even get two out of this, and these are very handy. You can get some of these at your local kitchen shop. What we do is we shape it into a square. To whatever thickness you like. Just bear in mind that the thicker it is, the longer it will take to dehydrate. And with dehydrating, with dehydrating, the longer you leave it, the crispier it gets. If you if you want it pliable, then you, you don't leave it as long. Okay, now what we do now is we score the bread. So I normally cut it, well, not cut it, but just mark it down the centre. And then I cut each one of these in half. And then I go across the centre. And this is sort of the size that I like. So I will leave it as that, scored. And now all we need to do is put it in the dehydrator. Here's a closer look. Let's get this baby in. Make sure she's got plenty of room. And then we make sure that we don't get more than 100 then we make sure we, we don't get more than 110 degrees. So I just turn, turn the knob a fair way because I just use my own timing. So now we'll use up the rest of it. If you don't have a sheet, you can use this um, parchment paper. The one I have here is a um, unbleached one, which is much better for your health. So we'll just empty out this one. So we're going to have quite a fair amount of bread with this mixture. Okay, so just spread it out again. Just check how much you have and as to how, how large this is going to be. And again, we score this. I'll just score it in threes for this one because it's not as big. And across the middle, make some nice slices there. And of course, it always looks beautiful. So you get a beautiful rustic feel when you make raw food. 
and we'll pop this in the dehydrator with the other one.